Today we're looking at pathways to Canada. I got eight. Eight pathways to Canada. You don't want to miss this. Hi guys, welcome back to Accord TV and if you're new here, my name is Accord and this channel is all about immigration and life. If that is your kind of content, please subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, turn on the notification bell so as soon as I upload a new video, you're instantly notified like a quote has uploaded. So for this video guys, you're going to look at eight different pathways which you can use to move to Canada. I'm not saying you can use all of them. I mean, you just pick one that works for you. So you need to stay put, maybe get a glass of juice, wine, whiskey i don't know what brings you pleasure i don't know what quenches your thirst but just get a drink and sit back on your comfortable couch and listen to me give you a free presentation of course with a lot of love and we're going to do that starting now so the first way you can move to canada is through the well-known the famous way express entry do you know how to work out express entry it's through this video the one popping up here it's a link okay don't click on it now watch this video to the end and then check it out but better still i'm going to share the link in the description box so after watching this video you just go and click on it watch it again to the end so that you know how the express system works and if that is your way or that is the best option for you to immigrate to canada then please feel free to move to canada through the express entry way pathway number two you can move to canada as a professional and skilled worker you've worked hard ever since you were born you worked hard to walk you worked hard to learn how to talk you went to school you continued working hard you finished high school you finished your first degree and maybe your master's degree well done now because you've worked so hard in your life you're going to be rewarded for that you can immigrate to canada as a skilled worker so you use your profession maybe you're a doctor a nurse a teacher you can bank on that to find your way to canada and how do you bank on your profession to get into canada you'll most likely get a job from a genuine canadian employer fill your forms pr whatever send them send your application and before you know it and by god's grace and all my prayers for you you find your way to canada third pathway which you can use to get to canada family sponsorship i'm telling you being a parent is nice because if you have children and for example you are 60 years old you have your own children that god blessed you with and you worked so hard you took them to school and you even sent them to canada for further studies now they are canadian residents and maybe canadians so what is your reward your children will sponsor you as a parent and you go to canada family sponsorship if your wife or husband is in canada and they are true to you they did not get to canada and then got confused they saw oh, this guy this girl the way most of us do i don't know what happens but i have so many friends who've lost their spouses just by sending them abroad you send your wife to canada to go and study and you never see them again you take a loan to find your husband to go outside there to study they study they get good jobs they settle they buy houses and on top of that they also add in a new spouse you're sitting back there waiting but should you be among the lucky category your spouse is still there for you they are committed for you for life for better for worse then they will sponsor you to go to canada if you're a parent and you're living in canada as a resident or as a canadian you can as well sponsor your children to move to canada that is what i mean by family sponsorship fourth pathway which you can use to move to canada is provincial nominee program it's a very very extended program and i'm actually going to make a whole series of 12 different videos just talking about pnp so please look out for those videos they are starting to they are going to start coming out very soon and it's going to be like this a video after another after another after another i promise you're really going to enjoy those videos 12 only for you tell me who else can do that for you <laughs> videos coming about pnp and they are going to be very detailed and after watching all those videos your confusion about pnp will come to a halt 
fifth pathway, which you can use to move to Canada, is business immigration. You can flexibly move to Canada as a businesswoman or a businessman. The only thing that will be required of you is your business should be at least two years old and bringing in a lot of cash. If your business is broke, forget about it. If your business is bringing in good money month after month after month, you're good to go. No, 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 wait. You have to be paying your tax. If your business is two years old, bringing in good money, giving you a good life with your family, you will have been paying tax for this business of yours for all those months and have paperwork to prove that. If your tax payment is not in place, bye, forget it. Consider looking at option number six, the sixth pathway, which you can use to immigrate to Canada is student visa. Many of us are so reluctant about going to study in Canada because I can hear people saying, oh, a court, it's so expensive, or oh, scholarship, A, B, C, D. But what you're forgetting is to move to Canada to study, to move to Canada as a student, you are not required to pay the whole amount in a lump sum. You pay your initial fee, which I know, I know, I know, it's not cheap, it's still high, but you pay your initial fee and then you get to campus and you start studying. Mm -mm. I did not skip the process of taking a flight. That should come naturally. Once you've paid your first installment, the tuition that you're required to pay for you to get your visa, naturally you need to get your flight and move to Canada. And guess what? As a student, you'll have 20 hours to work every week to fund your education and to pay for your expenses here and there. And what I'm saying is, if you're planning to move to Canada as a student, you can as well start a business now from your home country, a type of business that you can do online without having to meet anyone. So you move to Canada, you're well prepared, you're organized, you have your business online happening, and you have your 20 hours to work in a week, and you have your books to take care of. You need to quit this idea of, I can't, I can't, I can't. If you're watching my videos, I need you to stay positive all the time and consider starting your own business that you can offer service. I don't know what you're going to do, but I see people creating programs and all these many things happening. Come up with a business idea and start working on it now as you're preparing to move to Canada. So once you land, you'll not go knocking on people's door on the second day looking for a job. Let's learn to be self-reliant. Let's learn to depend on ourselves. I mean, it's important, but if you cannot do that, it's fair enough. You still have your family and good friends who can support you through this journey. Right, pathway number seven. No, that's, that's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, that's eight. Pathway number seven that you can use to move to Canada is permanent residence. If you make your applications and then you, you, you get your PR, you have your visa, you're free, to move to Canada and that's one of the pathways. How long does it take to process your documents until you can cross over? No one knows. Please don't go into those stories of ah we'll do your express entry, we'll get your visa in four months, in six months, in eight months. Nobody can actually tell for sure. It's all on the hands of the immigration officers. You can never really tell how long it will take for you to get your permanent resident visa. It takes a moment but if you're going through education then i can comfortably say it will take about eight months or six months depending on the institution you are applying to hmm. i hope we are clear on that pathway number eight which you can use to migrate to canada is a visitor visa go and apply for that visitor visa get your visitor visa and cross the border go to canada once you land in canada now you will decide are you looking for work or are you going back to study if you're aggressive enough and you get a job offer from a genuine employer, then you are free to file your case. And before you know it, you are a permanent resident. You're helping others and giving others advice on how they can get to Canada. And as you're doing that, you're blessed. If you'd like to know more about how you can start your immigration process to Canada, watch this video. How to immigrate to Canada. Let's go to Canada. Thank you so much for spending time with me. Die. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.